Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm talking distribution and we're going to look at comparing distributing the app versus distributing in the team's assignments and we're going to have a look at which one is better and why. All right, so as I said, we're comparing distributing in the app versus Teams. We're gonna look at which one offers what and how they offer it. And we get a little score at the bottom out of 15 and try and compare uh, whether you should be distributing Teams assignments in the app and what are some of the different features that each of them offer and some of the things that each of them don't offer. So let's have a look. We've got Teams assignments in our left-hand column and we've got the OneNote app on the right. So the first couple of sections we're looking at is distributing and reviewing student work. So Obviously in the app, we have these four main features. So you're able to distribute a section and a section group in the app, which is a really cool feature. We don't have that in Teams assignment as it's obviously just intended to distribute a specific page. Being able to distribute to an individual or a group, that's definitely available in the app. In Teams assignments, you can create an assignment for an individual or a group. So that's also available as long as you choose in a OneNote page. Cross notebook distribution is available in the app. Um, you can create an assignment for multiple teams or classes. So in a way, yes, you can distribute to Cross Notebook if you create that assignment at once. And the ability to delete a page is a really cool feature they've recently brought in. So if you make a mistake, you can quickly recall that page in the app. You can delete the assignment in Teams, but once the assignment has been distributed, you will have to go into the app and actually delete that page manually. So four out of four for our app. Two out of four for Teams assignment as far as distribution goes. Then we're looking at reviewing student work. So they're both pretty comparative as far as reviewing student work. You're able to quickly sort through a, a series of the student's pages and quickly have a look at what they've done and review and return their work. So they're both pretty similar in that. The cross notebook review, you can quickly do that in the app. Teams, you can yes, you can do it to an extent, but they're separate assignments. You're gonna have to sort of opt in and out of those assignments to be able to review that all together. And this is where um, Teams assignment, so they're a bit behind at the moment, but they're gonna start to catch up now. So the ability to create a grade or a rubric, you can do that in Microsoft Teams. You don't have that feature in the app. Once you create a grade or rubric, that can then populate your grade book as well. So that's another cool feature. Once you've used that in conjunction, you're not gonna have a grade book in your OneNote app. The ability to notify students, so you definitely get a notification in Teams when the students, when you create an assignment for the students, they're gonna get that notification. Microsoft has recently brought in a notification for students in the app or um, you know, if you're using the class notebook via Teams as well. It's not quite the same as a notification you get for an assignment. It's more of just a little bell that pops up within the one page to say a page has been distributed. So yes, there is a notification, but it's not to the same extent and the students probably aren't gonna notice it as the same level as the notification in a Teams assignment. The hand in feature, is obviously a great one in the Microsoft Teams, the, f the ability for students to be able to um, access the work completed and then hand it in, that you'll be able to see who's handing in and who hasn't. You don't get that in the app. You just sort of review student work and just see what's there. The ability to be able to schedule distribution is a really, really great feature in the Microsoft Teams. So using that assignment section, I generally work a week in advance. So all of my assignments that are distributed through OneNote, they can just periodically pop up whenever I need them to. So whether it's at the start of the lesson, during the lesson, at the end of the lesson, in preparation for the next lesson, for flip lessons, things like that, they can periodically pop up. Um, I spend five, 10 minutes at the start of my week getting them ready, sorting out the times, things like that. And then they'll just pop up when I need them to. But you're not gonna get that in the app. Return progressively in bulk. Obviously the OneNote app, it's not designed to have work sort of hand in or return. So it's not gonna have that, but you can do that in the Microsoft Teams. Giving audio or written feedback that is available in both the app and in Teams assignment. So they both get a grade for that. The Turn It In Plagiarism Checker is available in Microsoft Teams when you create assignment or OneNote page. It's not available in OneNote yet. They've just brought in some stuff into Word. So it might eventually come into OneNote. The app sort of already be pre-built into it, but at the moment it's not. And the ability to lock student pages. So you can set an assignment in Microsoft Teams where um, once they hand it in or once that time comes up, it will automatically hand in and lock that page. Once a student does hand in a page, you notice in the app that that page does lock until you've returned it or graded it or handed it back to the student. You can lock also in the app, 
So if you go into that review student work, you can go through and lock the students' pages or unlock the pages. So that's definitely available in both. So there we go. A very quick comparison between the two. Let's give a quick count up and see which one gets the best score. So let's look at team assignments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we've got a 12 out of 15 for our team's assignment, which is pretty good. And our app, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've got a nine out of 10. So as far as our scores goes, the Microsoft Teams app wins this one. Like I said at the start, I understand they have slightly different purposes in how they are actually you know, sent out. But as far as the comparison goes between distribution, the Teams assignments does offer those few extra features like the grade, the rubric, the handing feature, the schedule distribution, returning progressively, the students getting notified when it gets returned. So I definitely recommend using the Teams assignments if you can, if you do have access to Teams, but if not, the distribution um, app in, to in OneNote is still gonna be pretty good as far as um, getting your work across to your students. So there you go, thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video or took something out of it, hit the like button below. If you have any feedback, questions or suggestions for upcoming videos, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe for all of our latest ideas, tips and tricks on everything OneNote.